West motherfucking popping. Before we get started with the We Love Chevy though, you know we gotta set the mood. Sing it with me. Oh, yeah. I hear you in the back, baby. Is this your song? Round me, I get weak. Oh, I hear you. Take my breath away. Sing it. Hold on, what is that? I don't like to know. You are so beautiful. You better know you look good, Pooh. <laughs> Tell me what I gotta do to please you. Cause I only wanna make you happy. I don't like to know. I think they're ready now. Y'all in the mood? I don't like to know. <laughs> What's motherfucking popping up back to y'all with another motherfucking YouTube video? <laughs> Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. I'm not fighting over dick. I got way too many hoes. Christmas album Jingle Balls is dropping this Christmas. <laughs> Let me start lying. Hey, Pooh. Trying to stay consistent with this December shit. Videos every Sunday and Tuesday we're gonna commit. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Hopefully y'all had a good day today. Y'all went to church or something. And now you get to wind down and listen to me talk. Child. I'm kind of like slow down on the whole stories. Try to do other things. Cause you know, I didn't want people to really think like I'm just all about, you know, whole life. But bitch, I'm running out of ideas. So when in doubt, hoe it out. I don't have no really big announcements. So this intro is really about to be short. We finna get right into this video. Before I get started, make sure you leave a big old thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. I mean, if you're this far into the video, that means you think I'm cute or you wanna have sex with me. Hey. <laughs> so you might as well subscribe, stupid. As Christmas approaches, I ran back in my mind. Some people think of the gifts that they got around this time. The loved ones that they get to see they haven't seen all year. Time off from school. Me, my mind goes back and wonder, whose son was I talking to? For this particular video, as you can tell by the title, this nigga had me up. This was actually like one of the first time, I think this was the first time this ever happened to me. And I was just caught off guard. So now I gotta get my girls the full tea. So sit back and enjoy this video. This story time is about the time this boy wanted me to top him. For those of you who don't know what a top bottom is, in the gay world, a top is usually the one that goes in, a bottom is the one that's proceeding. Recently in the gay community, the tops want a bottom, the bottom want a top. Then there's this thing called versus, I rebuke that. This story takes place actually a year ago this month, December 2018. Uh. I remember like it was yesterday. So last December, most of the month I was in Kentucky, but I was trying to come home for Christmas because I didn't come home for Thanksgiving. My goofy ass forgot that Atlanta got the busiest airport in the world, trying to get my ticket like two days before Christmas. Goofy. They wanted rent for a plane ticket. I don't like my family that much. So I ended up having to swallow my pride and get on a Greyhound. So I get home, I think I got home like two days after Christmas, like the 27th, I didn't get, I wasn't home on Christmas. I don't know what days of the week this was. I think it was on, I don't know if Christmas fell on the weekend last year or in the middle of the week. I don't know, but whatever the weekend right after Christmas. There was a little New Year's Christmas slash little kickback thing. One of my homegirls invited me to go with her. I've been out of town since the summer. It's like I'm back in town. Let's pop out together. You know, woo, woo, woo. It's like everything happens with a kickback for me. Like, ugh, such a hoe. So this kickback is on the east side. I'm pretty, pretty good on the East, okay? I, I, got, I got a good face card over there. I grew up over there. I ain't really worried about, you know, running into an enemy or nothing because everybody fuck with me. So, you know, me, I'm giving the girls very much. At the time, I was natural. I had my hair, like, out. I had a curly little ball. I, I, was, I was giving the girls very much natural. I don't know who was throwing the kickback. I really don't care. Somebody told me kickback on the East Side. I know hood niggas gonna be there. So it's me, a girl I know, and then, like, three other girls that I don't know. Because I'm a pretty boy, I love when I go out with a group full of girls. Cause I've come up with a theory with straight dudes, they're like, they're like stupid. If you're a boy that could pass for a girl and you're surrounded by girls, the femininity around you is gonna outweigh 
the masculine still in you. And they're just gonna think you're a strong girl. Just as I thought, stupid. Me, I'm a social person. So like when I meet my friends, other friends, I'm not like quiet and anti-social. I know how to speak to people. I click with the girls well. We turn up, you know what I'm saying, in the car on the way there, like da 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 Cause we was gonna leave there and go to the club that night. They was having some type of special, yeah. They was having a um some type of club thing where like the club was 18 and up for like one night. And we was gonna go. So we get to the kickback and this shit is thick. Like, this is not a kickback. This is a house party at this point. We pull up to the address, and this car's all down the sidewalk. I'm like, God, hey. And it was a big-ass house, because they got mansions on the east side. They had the kickback at a mansion. So we walk in there, nothing but smoke, wig, and guns everywhere. <sighs> I'm happy. The music loud. It's bitches standing on the couch, niggas sitting on the counter. Like, it's just deep. I ain't nowhere to sit down. So we go upstairs. It's folks all through the hallways and every room. I'm like... Damn, bitch. So in the car on the way there, we all made a pack. Like tonight, we we gonna get some niggas. Like that's just that's just the goal. No shade to the girls I was with. I was prettier than like two of them. But so I knew I was gonna be successful. Didn't really know about the other girls. So one of the girls that we had found a room. It was like three people in there. It was like a bed and like a couch in the room. So we went there. Nobody was on the couch. So it was like we were just gonna go in here and sit down and figure out like what we finna do. Cause there's way too many people here. Like we know this is gonna get shut down. We need to bust the move before the cops come because there's just too many people here for this to last all night. Or somebody gonna get to fighting, or somebody gonna get to shooting. You know, folks in Atlanta cannot do nothing without fighting or shooting. And if it's a fight, they ain't gonna be fighting long. You start hearing bullets go off. So we sit in there and we coming up with a game plan like, okay, so we're gonna go back downstairs. One of us is gonna start twerking. The rest of us is gonna hype that person up. And then er hopefully everybody else watching, you know, the other bitches downstairs, they're gonna hype us up. And then now we got ourselves a, a lituation. In the middle of us talking, this fine-ass brown-skinned nigga walked by the door. He got a blue flag on. What about six, foe? His pants were down to his thighs. He was just sagging. And one of the girls I was with, they was like, oh my God, he fine as hell. So it was when he walked by, he heard, and he turned back around. Hey, Shawty, who said that? Shawty. <laughs> Love the sound. So the girl I was with, she was acting shy, like giggling and stuff. Me, I'm a bitch. She said it. Oh, for real? Man, you better go on. You don't know what you're getting yourself into with me, Shawty. She's sitting here blushing. Couldn't have been me. I would have been leaving the room with him. Right there. I'll see y'all later. So then we start hyping her up. Ah, uh, you don't want problems with her. Her throat vicious. Her shit thick. And he was like, man, y'all hell. Why y'all up here? Come downstairs with me. I blinked. And I was on his hip. Come on, let's go. They sitting there deciding if they're going to get up or not. I made up my mind. So we get up, we follow him downstairs. It seemed like more people than came in there. He walking downstairs. Hey, what's up, fuck, And we just look like his little hoes following him. We all in the train like ducks. The way the house was set up, when you walk through the front door, it's like a big old door. And it's like a big old living room with a dining room over there. And then there's a kitchen over here. And then there's like another area space over here. And there's like the round steps to go up. And then there was a downstairs, like right by the front door. It was big, y'all. So we go downstairs. That's where everybody hot. Like, that's where all the smoke is coming from. Everybody, they are hot. It's like hell down there. It's hot as fuck. We walk down there in a heat wave hit us. God damn, it's hot as fuck. He turned around. Jeez, Shawty, you good? Yeah. So then he took us to the garage. The garage is halfway up. So like, it's still December. It's cold outside. It's like 10, 15 niggas. No females out there. Shit, y'all smoke. All the girls I'm with smoke. Except for me, you know, I don't do weed. I can't do it, it makes me paranoid. But you know, I can't let them know that. So we all sitting close knit, legs crossed. Ain't none of the niggas in the room clocking me. I made sure I narrowed my face. There's no facial hair, the hair is the, ugh. And I had a little head scarf on, wrap or cover my hairline. I had my hoop, ugh. And my jeans to make my ass look fat. It didn't take long for me to catch on to what he was doing. Them was all his niggas. He brought us down there so they could feast. And me, eat me, edible, right on my forehead. So this is where the small talk begins, asking us where we from and da 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 and all this good stuff. I'm sitting there crossing my fingers that none of these boys recognize me from Instagram because I wasn't doing YouTube at the time, so I didn't have to worry about being seen by people that knew me from this app. I had like 155, close to like 160K towards the end of 2018. I was pretty lit, but I went like, you know, boom. It was going well, nobody was looking at me funny. I'm being very cautious with my voice because one slip up could ruin the whole mission. I'm from Atlanta. <coughs> I ain't trying to get caught up. So I'm nodding and hmm him as much as I can. <laughs> His friends, fine as hell. Except for like three of them. They look like little mud ducks. All of them are tall, like Amazonians. One of his homeboys was like, what y'all doing after this? 
We like nothing. What's the move? I forgot we said we're going to the club. We have plans after this. We're not going to be here long. At this point, forget the club. The reason, I don't know about the rest of y'all. Some of y'all like to go out with y'all friends to have a good time. Every time I go out, I'm on the prowl. It's a hunt. There's one goal. Find some If I could back that here at this kickback, I don't need to go to the club. Oh, shit. Y'all should pull up on this. We got an Airbnb. Three of his friends went to college in Memphis. They was in town for New Year's, so they had got an Airbnb for the week. Memphis? Now, I've never been, but I've heard stories. That city is ghetto. And at first I thought that was from Atlanta, but then I really started listening to him and you could hear like Memphis folks got an accent. So we was like, shit, sure, we could pull up. So one of his homeboys asked one of the girls on the couch to step with him outside the garage. Because I'm an old hoe, I knew what they were doing. Their friend was the hunter. He was out to go scout and bring in the meal. Once we got into that layer, it was the small talk. See where they're headed. Are they down to length? Once they got past that, it's time to divide and conquer. Every boy has his eyes on one bitch that he wants, and it's, it's up to you to have the balls to call her out. When he took her out the garage, another nigga came and swooped on the couch, sat next to another girl. Then the tall nigga that spotted us, he called out the girl that said he was fine in the room. Shout to come over here. And then, my moment, this fine-ass, dark-skinned nigga, ugh. Hair like the little twist things, but with a taper on it. He had to work out every day. The body was immaculate. He was sitting on the stool, and I was sitting on the end of the couch like, with my arm on the arm. He pushed his stool up like right next to me. So, you know, me, I'm in full bitch mode. I see him coming. I gotta act like I don't wanna talk to him. Oh my God. Man, shot it. Don't even play like that. Boy, what's up? Boy, I'm a man. Mm. Okay. Shit, I could show you better than I could tell you. And how you gonna do that? Shit, get my number. What is it? 901. That's not Atlanta. I'm from Memphis. Memphis. Where's the S? Oh. Okay. So I text him so he can text me. He sent me an image. And no, this boy did not. So, me, I open it. Fuck it was huge. It is not you. On soul. Well, take my soul. Uh. So, the driver, she ended up sinking off of some nigga. I text her. We gotta go to this Airbnb. Fuck this club. <laughs> She's like, bitch, I'm already on it. So, we start talking. He start asking me questions. I know you got a boyfriend. You too cute to not have one. Where he at? Boy, I do not have no boyfriend. <laughs> oh shit, well I'm trying to slide on you then. Why you stay in Memphis, so how you gonna do that? Bitch, I'm doing the most. You just a couple hours away. You drive. Like I drove us here. A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging at the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. I got the driver. Y'all fucking with the passengers? I got the driver. I will. You might be able to work some out. You cute or whatever. Out of nowhere, we hear a loud commotion coming from outside. How is this fighting? It's like a group of like six females. And they got their head nucking. Bitch, you can have him down there. I don't even want that. Out. Atlanta bitch is so at home. I love my city though. So that's when old dude said, oh hell nah, they gonna call 12. We about to do. I could see the fear in his eyes when he mentioned the police. This nigga was on probation. He did not want to have any run in with the law. But he said he'll text us the Addy and we could pull up whenever we leave here. We come back together in the garage and we all cheese and talking about our experiences. What'd he say to you? Bitch, what'd he say to you? Bitch, he told me he trying to hit. Bitch, he want me to be his girlfriend. You're not even a girl. I know. <laughs> and then it seems like simultaneously, all of our phones ring. We all get the same address. Them niggas in the car talking about us. And it was a perfect, it's like, that's how you know God is real. It was a perfect number. It was five of them and five of us. So two of the girls still wanted to go to the club. The rest of us was ready to go pull up on them. I guess some of the girls we was with had morals and they really wasn't feeling like that whole one night stand stuff. You know, me, I'm nothing but a tool. Use me. They have self-respect. The fuck, who does that? So fast forward, they end up winning and we end up going to the club instead. I am pissed. And we just said, when we leave the club, we're just gonna pull up on them afterwards. And one of the girls we was with said, well, I gotta go to work in the morning. Fucking job are you working? It's New Year's, like, what are you doing? And she stayed the furthest out, so we take her home. The night is done. 
Y'all, I really gotta get home and get this sleep. Y'all gotta go to work in the morning. Oh, wait, you really have to call a fucking lift. Just like, you're ruining my, I already, I already let it slide because you wanted to go to this tired ass club. Mind you, we had fun at the club. It, it was deep, it was cool. I twerked on a couple niggas. They didn't know that I was a fucking nigga and they friends and the clown. It, 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 we had fun. But now you're trying to interfere with the act. Uh, no, no, no. Of course, she offered the driver gas money and that overruled everything. So we took her tired ass home and the night was done. She texted me at like 3.40 in the morning. Shit, y'all on the way? Nah. Well, shit, I'm trying to chill with you. Let me pull up on you. <laughs> okay. Their Airbnb was like 26 minutes away from the mansion kickback, which was 26 minutes closer to me, which made him only 19 minutes from me, which would have been an otherwise like 40, 45 minute drive. Oh yeah, you're only 19 minutes away, I'm on my way. I look at the GPS, we 11 minutes away. Love, you need to floor it. I need to make it home with enough time to douche. You never know what could happen. I get home, run in that bathroom, Credit card swipe that soap up my ass. <sighs> Tonight's about to be a great night. He texts me like 10 minutes after I'm home. All right, I'm on my way. He texts me while he on his way. Shit, that ass fat as fuck. Yes, I know. And I can't wait to suck on your nipples. <laughs> yeah. And I just know your shit wet. Yeah. I don't have a vagina. <laughs> He looked scary. He looked like he wasn't going for nothing gay. Like, if he would have found out I was a nigga, he probably would have shot me. Like, that's the vibe I was getting from him. Like, y'all, when niggas are flirting with me and stuff, I be forgetting I'm not a fucking guy. I don't be purposely not trying to tell him. It really slips my mind. Yeah, I shit wait it's fine. Shit, we gonna see. I tell him he can't come in because my folks sleep. Yeah, that ain't no problem. We can do it in the car. Me, I'm into that. Ugh, kinky. So I done put on this oversized t-shirt, these long ass tube socks. I got my hair up in a cute little messy bun. You know, giving the girls that look. You can see it in your head? Yeah, that's me. So I run outside, cold as fuck. I get in his car. The AC is on. It's warm. Broke niggas don't run the AC in the winter. So of course, I direct him to my spot. Well, I bring all of my victims. And we park and we just sit there and start talking. Then in the middle of us talking, he was like, let me see your leg. So I lift my leg up and put it over there. He started rubbing my feet. All right, keep talking. I don't know what we were talking about, y'all, because I was bullshitting. I was lying to him the whole time. I don't know what I, I could have told that boy anything. He had changed into some gym shorts. And he started moving my foot against his dick. I've never done that foot play stuff. Never understood that, but what I was feeling was immaculate. It was hard as a rock. What you want me to do about that? You already know what's up. <laughs> I start going. That dick was massive. It was like, uh, oh my god, it was two. It was a two hand job, and it smelled so good. And he shaved. He was bald. I love bald. Oh my god. And he was a dirty talker. Yeah, you like the way that shit tastes. The shave, eat that shit up. I'm giving him every trick I have. Spitting, <laughs> choking, <laughs> face slapping. <laughs> he reach over with them big old basketball hands. <laughs> he started gripping my shit. Ooh. He got young Dolph playing on the ox. Uh, I'm in heaven. And then he say, let me get up in it. <laughs> Damn. If I said self, we're here again. It's not your first time. What are we gonna do? We're gonna tell him you're on your period out of nowhere. Or are we just gonna keep it a stack? If it goes left and he kicks me out, I already sucked it. I enjoy my night. About that. What if I told you I don't have a what? Um Man, you playing. Uh-uh. Are you like one of them trans girls? Before I can answer, I ain't even gonna lie. I always thought about trying some with one of them. Well, then suddenly I'm trans. I'm trying to see what that ass about. Oh, I'm a, I'm a virgin. Well, shit, finish sucking my dick. You gonna make me nut any kind of way. Oh, I planned on it. He grabbed my puff ball and started. Oh my God, it's something about them Memphis niggas, they accents, oh my God. I started doing this one, 
and give y'all all my tricks. I start doing this one trick with the tip. You, you turn your hands into a ring. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Then he asked me, shit, you ever did it the other way? I said, what you mean? It's a million ways to suck dick. What you talking about? Nah, instead of me fucking you, you do it to them. Don't, don't, don't fucking play with me like that. Just you want to try it? This nigga serious. You want me to top you? Why? Now I'm getting defensive. Why do you want something in your ass? In the gay world, you will be a top. What are you doing trying to... Experiments and shit is going too fucking far. So then he chokes me and pushes me back in the seat and then he starts taking out mine. So I'm sitting there like, oh. <laughs> then he starts giving me head. He had this crazy look in his eyes like, I cut something on in him that's been waiting to be awakened. I'm sitting there shell shocked because this is a thug. This is a hood nigga. Like, y'all would not believe. If I showed y'all a picture of y'all, y'all think this whole story a cap. Like, there's no way. Like, it'd be them type. Ladies, she better watch out. And no such thing as looking at no more. Uh uh. I wasn't gonna stop him because he was doing a pretty good job. But shit, is you down or what? No! Uh, no, no, no. That, that's a kink too far. I don't find that shit attractive. Why would I top a nigga? No. And then you become my bitch. I wanna be the bitch. No, no. I would not find a nigga attractive after I talked to him. No, that's, no, that's the sound of how y'all do that verse. Y'all can keep all of that. That shit is not for me. So I think I killed his vibe after that because I was not going for that. I think I gave him hair for like five more minutes and then he just nutted. He had one of the most dramatic nuts. Uh, ah, ah, ah. I cleaned all of it right on up. You know me, Swiffer Jet. I didn't even get my nut. I was ready to go back home after that. I was so like done, like, uh-uh. Well, how was it? On a scale of 1 through 10, you know, I asked every nigga that. Shit, that shit was 15. Mm, okay, I'm ready to go home. So he took me back home. I got out, didn't even say bye, just closed the door, walked in the house. I was sick. Because if he would have let me do it, there's some other freaking she, she, male training thing that would have did it. Once a nigga take dick in his ass, that's cancel your chances with me. I remember he texted me the next morning, good morning. You know you did your job when you get good morning text. He was like, I fuck with you. Every time I come to the A, I'm gonna hit you up. Girl, I unsaved his number and lost him after that. Cause what's to say between now and the next time you come, you won't have something run up in your ass and you think you gonna come back to me after you done bent over for somebody. I'm not gonna take that chance. Moral of the story, all these niggas is gay. Yup, that about wraps up this video. It's a little graphic for the kids. No, it ain't a shade video if your, your mouth isn't like at the end of it. Make sure y'all leave a big old thumbs up. Tell your brother, tell your sister, tell your cousin about me. You know you live for this. Remember to always love yourself and be yourself unapologetically. And remember, if you carry yourself like royalty, these people got to respect you. Until next time, make sure he's not a bottom.